Okay, oh, I'm back, and I just wanted to go in and show you how I maintain my semi-straightened hair. So, I will start that right now. So, what I like to do is I like to part my hair in two sections. I have two. It doesn't have to be like a straight part. Um... And I take my coconut oil, which you can get coconut oil from your local grocery store. Um, this is the this is from the Spectrum brand, um, and it's organic coconut oil. It has nothing else in it, just coconut oil. Um, it says it's refined for medium high heat, so. So what I like to do, I'm just gonna, even though I already did this one side, but actually I'm going to do the other side. So pretty much as I did on this side, and you can see this side is lying down more than this side is. So I like to put some coconut oil on my hands and then take the ends of my hair, just the ends. I don't go all the way down and just go all the way to my ends and as I said in my previous video I did I sh pretty much I straightened out my hair because I wanted to a trim my ends that was the main reason and B I also wanted to be able to see my length so because of course your hair in its curly state you can't really see how long it is so so I just make sure that I just focus on the ends of my hair. It, and I like doing this because it does help the hair to lie down a little bit. But yet it still has some kind of, um, it still has a little bit like a bounce and move and all of that. Where's my towel? One second. <clears throat> okay. Sorry about that. Um, so now I'm going to just take my comb, just run it through, like that, just on my ends. I'm not, as you can see, I didn't run it like all the way through. I'm just running it on my ends. Um, my ends are looking really, really good compared to how they looked before I trimmed them. lays down just a little bit more um, but I do that just you know for moisture to keep my ends because your ends are the oldest part of your hair so you do have to keep them moisturized and here's my hair so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bun up my hair I tend to be the type of person that's very like low maintenance I don't like to do too much to my hair um, so, as I said, and also in my previous video, that I like, I've been bunning my hair up, you know, keeping it in a high bun, pretty much since I straightened it uh, a couple weeks ago, which I think, when I straightened it, it was January the 22nd, I believe, when I did that. So anyway, so now I'm just going to take my hair, like this, put it into... A bun. Like this. And this is pretty much how I sleep at night, just with my hair in a bun. Just take it and twist it all the way to the end. My hair is cut in layers, by the way. I might do a video and show how I actually. So I'm just going to do like a tight bun to my hair. Huh. 
kind of like there too much. Just make sure I get all my hair in there. Twist, twist, twist. Then I get my hair tie, which is this. I'm not going to do it too tight, but, so that is my hair in a bun, hopefully you can see that, uh, everything is down, I have a side part, because I prefer my hair on the side part, so, and then when I take it down, my hair should have, like, a little bit of, like, a wave or something to it, so, I'm not really doing anything today, so I most likely will keep it like this over the next couple of days. Today is Saturday, it's February the 4th, and um, I normally wash my hair either on a Saturday or Sunday, and being that I've had my hair like this for about two weeks, I was going to wash it, but I think I might keep it for an extra week, just because um, my scalp, it's bothering me a little bit, but not that much, and you know, just, I guess, get my money's worth in a sense even though I didn't pay for this I did it myself so that's how I maintain my hair while it's straight if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and I'll see you in my next video bye